everyone uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to um, install the RPCS3 emulator if you go on to rpcs3.net and go to the download section you're gonna get this screen and from here you can download the build that corresponds to the OS that you're using uh, there's a Windows build and a Linux build as of right now and there's a Mac OS build that will be coming um, and I'm using Windows so once uh, that is downloaded I have a shortcut on my desktop so you will just double click on it and you will get this screen um, you need to have PlayStation 3 firmware which I have on a flash drive um, so I'm gonna click on create desktop and start menu actually no I'm not gonna do that um, I'm going to click on, I have read the quick start guide, that's what you're going to click on here, and you're going to click continue. Um, do I want to update? No, I don't want to update right now. So it says system missing firmware. So you're going to click on, so this is the interface um, that you're going to have when you start it up. And... Um, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to install firmware and you're going to want to go to where the firmware is and I have that on my thumb drive so we're going to go there update and it says uh, old firmware detected newest firmware is 4.91 you are trying to install version 4.90.1 uh, HFW, which is hybrid firmware, which is firmware that can be exploitable, that is exploitable, that you can put uh, HEN onto, uh, which I will do a, tut a tutorial on that um, in a separate video. So we're going to click on yes. So it'll say successfully installed PS3 firmware and LLE modules. And you're going to get this screen here. And um, you'll just have to let it finish compiling. This will take a, a couple of minutes. look down here in the log you'll see that everything compiled properly um, and what we'll do is we'll go here and we will click on open uh, let's see here. Uh, so in order to boot games um, <clears throat> what you need to do is you need to go to, let's see, so the game I'm going to be using for this tutorial is going to be, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, and this, uh, image needs to be extracted in order for our PCS3 to see it, so what we are going to do is we're going to, let's see, what, where do I want to Yeah, let's do that here. Uh, no, let's put it there. Uh, 
let's make um go here and we'll just call it Batman AA and then we'll just set it so that the game extracts to that directory and it's going to say that there's a header error here so you can disregard that um so we just have to let that extract so once the contents of this image extract uh then our pcs3 will be able to uh see it and then from there we'll be able to load the game into the emulator and then start it so this will take a couple of minutes i think while we wait we can kind of play around with the gui for a little bit so you have different uh tabs you can click on for the emulation tab uh, you have a play option a stop option a restart option an insert and eject option uh, you can go full screen configuration so uh, I personally leave all the settings the way they are um, at least just for the time being but you can change your aspect ratio enable and disable 3d rendering change your graphics um, change your resolution resolution scale uh, audio settings input output system debug console mode so these are all different these are all advanced options here emulator um, Yeah, so there's a lot of different things you can do. Show trophy pop-ups, pause emulation, exit RPC3 when it process finishes. These are all GUI options here. Um, <clears throat> I think what we'll do, let's see, because it's still extracting right now, so what we will do um, is now that we're done with I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, we're done with the flash drive. So we'll eject that. Um, and then I think what we'll do is we'll set up the game pad. We'll click on pads. And this right here is where you would go to set up your controller. And for this video, I'm gonna be using uh, my Xbox 360 wireless controller. So let's plug that in. Um, and you're going to click on where it says, uh, at the top where it says handlers, keyboard. Um, and you get a different bunch of different options. So you can click keyboard, DualShock 3 and 4 for the PS3 and PS4 controller. Um, DualSense for PS5 controller. So for this video, since I'm using Xbox controller, you would click on X input pad. Um... I just gotta turn my controller on. There. So now X input pad number one is connected. Um, so now, um, if you notice, everything is configured the way it's supposed to be since it refreshed uh, so if you look oh uh so a triangle is y you know square is x circle is b cross is a so now this is configured the way that it's supposed to be so we're just going to click on save And it is done extracting. 
So we'll go to open and then we're gonna go to where the game extracted to, click on that folder, click select folder, and the game will automatically launch. So now we just have to wait for the compiling to finish. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. Um, one other thing that you can do with this is you can use, um, yeah, you can go to manage, uh, and you can use game patches and sheets. So you can configure that as well. Um, and, um, for this video, um, I'm going to show you guys how to use um, patches. After this is done uh, compiling, once we're able to um, get in game. Um, so um, you can patch games and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a couple of minutes. It's like 30 more seconds are left. Now the PPU code is being applied, so let's wait a couple of seconds for that to finish. And then we should be able to uh, get in game after that. on the main menu and what we're actually going to do is I'm actually going to quit the game for just a second um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the GOI here so now that the game has been added to um, the game list we're going to right click on it and it, it's going to give us this whole list of different things we can pick from um, now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Manage Game Patches. Uh, you're going to get a pop-up box that says New Patches Are Available. Do you want to update? Click Yes. And it says your patch file is now up to date. So you're going to go up here. Um, you're going to click on this little arrow. And you're going to click that arrow too because this is the region information for the game. And it gives you the option of clicking the debug menu. And this is how I was able to enable this and the video that I did on the menu. So 
So you just click the box and you're gonna click apply. Um, you're gonna click save and then we are going to, you can actually double click on that and it'll launch the game. And the patch should have taken effect. So we will, once we get in game, we will find out. And to enable the menu, you have to hold down R1 and the start button at the same time. Simulator is actually pretty stable. This works, this works pretty well. Commissioner Gordon here. Yes, sir. He's uh, waiting for you down at Patient Handles. Really he got here just before you did. And there you go. The selected patch has taken effect, and the menu. I'm actually going to. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Get this smaller. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, there's a bunch of different things that you can choose from. Um, so this is how I was able to get this menu working in the last video that I did on it. Um, Sharpie loves his cat start. Hey, Sharpie, you getting my good side? Ah, but two, they're two, all two, good, aren't up. they? <laughs> and, um, that is how you set up the RPC S3 emulator and apply game patches um if you guys have any questions uh just uh leave a comment uh below the video um stay tuned uh there's more to come